Welcome to the Design It 9 video learning series. In this tutorial, we'll be working in the Design in It Graphics Studio section of the program, and we're going to convert a full photo into a two color afghan. This is a really fun project for my mother desktop. This is the picture of her zoom fit to height. This is my mom and her great grandson who smiles constantly. And I would like to turn this into a lap size afghan for her. So I'm going to go under grid settings and I want this to be tensions is seven and a half and ten stitches I'm sorry seven stitches and ten rows per inch and it says to do this we want to knit with a hundred and ninety eight stitches wide which is almost the full needle bed and it's saying to do that and to keep it proportional 300 rows so we're going to go over here and change this to 300. Okay. The next thing that we want to do is we want to go here with our conversion settings. And this time we don't want to do it as solid or bird's eye. We want to actually use dithering. And dithering, this is a new for designing it nine. It will take things and automatically mix the colors for you so that you get the best possible detail ever. And I'm going to say option one, fine grain dithering. I'm going to show the preview one pixel per stitch and per row. And I'm going to say OK. And it's showing it over here what it would be if it was knit. And if I looked at my yarns, I have one, two, three, four, five, six different colors. And this would come out just like this as a picture knit. If I only wanted to have four colors, I could get rid of maybe this green. And let's see what happens. And it still looks great. So I could easily, I could say auto if I wanted, and that I wanted to have a four color jacquard, maximum number of colors, uh, let's say maximum six colors total. And it's figured it out that for you, that if you used these yarn colors, this is what it would actually look like knit. This is stupendous. But let's change this auto to only four colors. And what it does is it kind of mixes things so that when you knit this up, it mixes colors in here so that it comes out perfect. And let's just say OK to that. And let's say OK. And I'm going to say, uh, I'm save these settings for now. Just so you could look at it in designing it. This is going to have to be a four color jacquard with a color changer on. And it's saying, uh, uh, check for errors. So let's say check for errors for Jacquard and go ahead and fix those. And let's fix the tension is actually, we said seven and 10. Okay. And let's, uh, uh, zoom out. Uh, let's zoom in actually. You could see here, see how the colors are kind of mixing up to give you that 
perfect shading. How great is that? So this is a four color per row jacquard using these colors to get this perfect image. So what if we wanted to make this only two colors? Let's go back to the Design Graphics Studio. I'm not going to save this. Open the picture on the desktop again. And let's make a few changes. We still have the dithering. That's OK. It's remembering the colors that we used. The grid setting, 7 stitches and 10, 198 and 300 just before. It, because we saved the settings, it remembered all of that. What we want to do is let's change the colors to only maybe this color and this color. And look up here. Perfect. This is what it would look like knit. So this was so easy and it comes out so perfectly and to scale. But I'd like to do even a little bit more. What I would like to do, let's turn this conversion off, is I'd like to actually get rid of this background. And we can do that using the tidy image. And I'm going to turn on these intermediate colors. My right mouse button color, I'm going to make this color brown, maybe a little bit light, lighter. And my left mouse button color, I'm just going to kind of swoop in like this and then pick up my eraser and erase it. And designing it knows. And because I haven't selected these colors, look, I could go. Now it's picking up a little bit of her shirt. Let's say undo. And that's this color right here. Let's get rid of that one and this one. And now let's erase. It's still picking up this one. So let's uh, undo that again. Let's get rid of this one and erase. And we're, we're okay. And it's just a matter of slowly going around and erasing the background. And you can erase over here. And I can pick up my eyedropper and then the eraser so that I can erase these colors. And we'll let it kind of catch up. I can erase these colors down here. I can say clear these colors. And I can go back in and pick up these blues and the eraser and go in and erase this. And because there's no blue in her shirt, I can go right up to her shirt and pick it right out. And here, let's erase this too and pick up the eraser again. And look at how nicely I got that definition. And I'm just going to keep clearing the colors and then picking up, let's say, all these greens and the eraser. And I'm just going to start going around and getting rid of the background. And it's going to pick up a little bit of this because I have some of the light colors in there. And so I'm going to have to pick that up separately. But I have one that I have cleaned up. 
And let's not save this first. So if I go up under here, I have one where I've taken the background out, just like we did. It's already looking better, isn't it? So let's look at this. Here's my two colors that it's going to be. And I'm going to say apply this. And this is what it's going to look like. I am going to look at the tensions on this, seven stitches and 10 rows, and it should be 198 and 315 rows, but it's gonna have to be 14 because of the jacquard issues. And now it's going ahead, and this is what it would look like knit. I love it. So did I need to convert all of these colors? No, let's turn this conversion off. I just needed to get rid of the background and designing it will do all of this for me. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna save the settings because I've done that before. It's doing the conversion. It's going to be a two color jacquard this time with the color changer, okay. And I need to readjust the tension to be seven stitches and 10 rows per inch. And let's zoom in a little bit. And there you have it. Now, two color jacquard doesn't have jacquard errors because it's only two color. You only run into this in three and four color jacquard. So I would like to do a couple other things. Let's say zoom uh, maximum view so that I can see, well, let's zoom in a little bit. What I would like to do is I would like to use this line and pick up this color and I'm going to have, and I want to change this stitch and the, the next stitch over to white and the same thing here. And I want to, I want to have white going across here and I want two, two rows of white. Let's see here, I'm not there. And down at the bottom, let's go all the way down. I also want to add two rows of white. And I'll do that in a second. And I've changed the brown to the right, whoops. I've changed the brown to the right mouse button color and I want to say plus and I put this two row border here. I want to be on the very top row and I'm pulling it down until it says 30 rows that I'm going to insert starting at row 315 and remember our afghan had only 314 rows so this is going to add it after the white. And there you go. And I want to go all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to do the same thing. And I have, so this is the finished file. I have two stitches all the way up. I have two stitches on this side. I have the two rows here and the two rows here to give me an outline. I have a 30 row border and a 30 row border. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit this panel on my knitting machine. And then I'm going to knit two side panels. This is three inches and at seven stitches times three inches, I need 21 stitch wide sides to give me an afghan that has nice edges. 
and this will be a little bit larger than what comes off my machine and it will give it a nice finish to it. So I've actually knit this up and if I go into design graphics folder I can bring up a picture of the afghan that is actually knit fit to height and this is the afghan that after it's been completely knit and you can see here's my panel here's my side borders that have been attached you have to uh, these come off uh, very stretched but you knit the same amount of rows and you also knit it in jacquard you just don't change colors you knit all brown and what you do I can open another one is uh, let's whoops I can open up on my desktop what I do is I, here's my panel that's the middle here's this 21 stitch wide piece and I actually tape it together and then I go ahead and I seam it and I take the tape off as I go until the seam is finished and this way I'm sure that it's going to line up the whole way and if I go here and I look on my desktop again there's another picture you can see here where I've been taping it and I'm pulling this and stretching it so that it neatly fits with the rest of it and then I tape it all down and sew it up and what you end up with is a finished afghan that looks like this And this is nice. This is nicer than just knitting something and not having borders on it. I think if I did it again, I would probably only convert to maybe 194 stitches and have this as add-in stitches on the sides so that there was a little bit of brown in between this white and her arm. But that's okay. So enjoy and thank you.